Hey YouTube, Mad Mods Tube. Uh, today I'll be showing you how rapid fire works, and our most common rapid fire we sell are the seven mode uh, sleeper stealth mods, the kind where you press the sync button up here, and um, from Nightmare Mods, those are the kind of rapid fire chips we use. So to start off, let me tell you, uh, it is against the rules to use this on Xbox Live. It is cheating. Um, however, you cannot get caught. But so I'm going to follow the rules in this video and not play on Xbox Live and show you rapid fire because um, you'll see my gamer tag and someone's going to report me. But I don't. I'll start out saying I do not use rapid fire on Xbox Live. Okay, um, I just don't because it's cheating. Um, I have a separate account. I don't use it on that either. Just it's cheating, basically. It's not fair to other people, um, who don't have it. Most of the people I will tell you on Xbox Live do have rapid fire and they use it constantly every game. And you cannot get caught because it is a hardware mod. That means it's wired inside your controller, so they can't detect that it's there. Now, if it was a software mod, which I do not know of any software mods for uh, rapid fire controllers, then they can detect it and they can ban you. Now, if you get banned, you either get banned for three days, two weeks, or the rest of your life. Um, when you get banned for the rest of your life, you get banned to the year 2,999. So I would not brag on Xbox Live if you're using this, okay? That's just basically, I mean, common sense. But still, some people that buy the chips, they message us and like, hey, can I get banned? Well, yeah, you can, but they can't detect it. So if I were you, like, I have a kid, but one of my friends, actually, his little brother, he uses the rapid fire on his controller, and he tells everyone he uses it. And he's been just, like, people message him all the time because they're mad at him. So, I mean, I wouldn't recommend using it. And that you get bad approval rating, and that's how you'd probably get banned. Uh, for like three days maybe at the most all right anyway kind of went over that so I'm not going to use Xbox Live I'm going to use private match now my favorite gun to use with rapid fire would be the whoops sorry the fall uh, and the secondary just for um, to show you that rapid fire works on it doesn't work on a ton of the guns on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 but the ones it does you can tell the difference the revolver it uh <laughs> it shoots really fast all right so let's get started here i'm going to change the map to this just cuz all right now while it's loading how rapid fire works okay you press the sync button up here just click it once and the third person light will come on yours will be whatever color your LEDs are like I changed the LEDs in mine to be blue white or white blue uh, white red for rapid fire okay but if you haven't changed the colors of your lights yours will be the Xbox green alright now I personally prefer mode 5 okay and every time you click it it'll go up a mode alright so we will just use any team and we'll use a class with that so I'm gonna step out here okay now let me turn off rapid fire to show you what it shoots like first I should have done that I'm sorry um okay here's rapid fire with no rapid fire okay so I'm just pressing the trigger it's one shot. Alright. Now, let me reload. And with rapid fire. Alright, mode 5. Alright, I'm just going to press and hold it. Alright. I'm not going to like block your screen, but. Alright, ready. Okay. And that's. <laughs> basically, I use this almost as a sniper. With like either a. A, uh, not like a the iron sights, but like a AG. Well, you know the scopes that you can use to see further. Can't talk today, sorry. Um, now the revolver, 
you know the revolver. It's a single shot weapon, okay? Well, here it is with rapid fire. Here's me just hold, just pressing the trigger once. It's still single shot, okay? Now, with rapid fire, here's the revolver. If I just hold down the trigger. Now, this definitely gives you the upper hand advantage in a game. Um, this also works with some of the shotguns. I don't know if I... I don't know if it works with this shit. It works with the Fomas, I know. I'm just going to kill myself. And, uh... Now this, it's a three-shot burst, but... If you just hold down the trigger on this, it's just a constant three-shot burst. Uh, it definitely gives you the upper hand advantage in a game. My secondary, I don't know. I think you have to reload. But it reloads faster, definitely. And some of the uh, weapons it lets you reload faster okay so that's basically how it works and you don't have to turn your controller all the way off to get rid of the rapid fire you can just press to mode 7 and then press one more time and it'll turn it off um, I am not on Xbox Live right now or in an Xbox Live game so I am not cheating I'm playing hosting my own game on a private match okay so it's not cheating and I can't get in trouble for it. It is still cheating if I were playing with someone. Technically it's cheating, but I'm not playing with anyone, so I don't think anyone cares. But yeah, <laughs> um, that's rapid fire. That's the nightmare mods. Uh, we prefer it because it's cheaper and it gets the job done just as well. So that's that. Um, so rate, comment, subscribe uh, if you want a rapid fire mod chip, the kind that I used in this controller here for this video. They are $22 and you can message us about buying them on eBay or from our website or just straight from us, okay? Uh, we pay for shipping to you. It, the free, it's free shipping or if you want us to install it because it does require the screwdriver to take the controller apart. Uh, hot glue is recommended but not required and solder um, that can pose a problem for some people but if you just buy the chip comes with the chip uh, two to three feet of 30 gauge wire and a doid that connects to this light so it doesn't burn up your light um, it's really hard to mess up when you're doing that but if you'd still prefer us to do it you can ship your controller to us you have to pay shipping I think it's like four bucks to ship it to us and four bucks to ship it back to you and we'll do that for the same price, $22, but you have to pay the ship back too. So add like 4 or $5 to the 22 It's about 27 28 27 So yeah, it's still a pretty good deal. So if you want that, message us. Uh, go to our website or our eBay and we'll let you know how much. Well, it's $22, but just message us and we'll get you one. All right. Goodbye. Have a good day.